What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, I'm here to show you a little Photoshop trick. But first, this is what compressed air sounds like in a microphone. <laughs> Not very good, does it? Let's go ahead and get into background creation. I'm going to show you how to make a dope background out of anything you want. So we're going to pull over Google. Let me go ahead and X out of there. We're going to go to, uh, let's say, let's type in just Ballers Court. Don't even know what that is. We're going to look it up. It's a cool picture. Nice oranges and stuff here in the uh, court. Let's go ahead and bring that over. We're going to close out of here. We're going to bring this into Photoshop. So we're going to go ahead and drag it right in. All you got to do is click and drag. Boop, boop, boop. Hit enter on your keyboard. We're going to grab the corner. Um, don't hit shift. Kind of morphs it, but you can morph it. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, don't, don't do it if you don't uh, want to morph it, but we're going to morph it. All you got to do is make it a little bit bigger than the canvas. You're going to hit filter. You're going to go to blur. Again, that is filter, blur. We're gonna go to Gaussian Blur. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet blurred background. You can't even tell what's going on. Okay, let's say it's not your style. Let's say you like the you like the um, kind of uh, blurs there, but it's not your favorite. See down here, kind of uh, see some pixels through it. That's why you want to make it bigger. We're gonna go ahead and expand it a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna unblur for a second. We're gonna drag it back over there. Okay, I like the I like the I like the design. I like the color. So on your keyboard, you're gonna just you're, you're gonna select this. You're gonna press Control and then U on your keyboard. Control U. Brings up this. Now you can adjust every color individually, but we're going to adjust the whole thing. You can go Hue. Check that out. Pretty cool. So we can make that green if we want. Let's turn the saturation up. That's kind of kind of cool looking. Um, I'll say we like that. What we can do now is we like that, right? We're going to right click it again. And we're going to right click it. We're going to convert to smart object. We're going to make it bigger again. And we're going to go back up to filter. We're going to do the same thing. Get Gaussian blur. You know what I mean? Now I got a cool image there. Look at, look at the different color. Kind of, it's not so sharp, right? Kind of does that. Check that out. Okay, let's go ahead and do another example here. Let's go bring up um, Google once again. Let's get, uh, let's type in something else. Let's go PC RGB setup. Okay. Okay, let's go with the kind of some, like, some cool pics, some cool colors anyway. Okay, this one's pretty cool. It's got some nice pink there. I got to do a save image. It doesn't matter the resolution because we're going to expand it anyway. Let's go ahead and drag it right in. We'll get rid of the old image. Again, drag it, make it bigger. Filter, blur. My cat's in the background. Sorry if you can hear him. Gaussian blur. Boom, check that out. You got a sweet blurred background. Again, you might need to make it a little bigger than what I did. And again, you can press Control U on your keyboard and change the color, which is pretty sweet. If you want to press Control U and just change the blues, you can go to that, do that. Sometimes you're going to mess with cyans, but we'll just do blues. And again, you can change it to whatever. So that's, that's a cool purple background there. Um, I mean that's really it. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty easy. Let's turn. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do one more uh, different effect. I want to show you real quick. Let's go to this one. It's got text on there. Doesn't matter. We're gonna get rid of that when we do this. I'm gonna drag it into Photoshop. Again, we're gonna expand it. Um, a lot of different blurs you can mess around with. Another one I like is motion blur. This one's really sweet. You want to turn it up um, like that. Again, it's not good in all situations, but I mean check that out. That's pretty cool right there. Again, you can expand it. Let's see, whoops. Now, right-click this image, hit Convert to Smart Object. Turn your other layer on. Now watch this. I'm going to hit Normal here, change the color mode. You can create some pretty cool stuff if you really want to. So let's say I like uh, I like this lines on there. It looks pretty cool. A little strong, though. So all you're going to do is hit Opacity over here, or you can double-click right there. Um, so you're going to just go ahead and turn that layer down a little bit. Now you have kind of a cool effect on there, you know? Um, you can also turn that back to Normal. Hit Control u change the color. And I mean, you got some, you got a kind of a cool background. Let's let's tone this down a little more, just so it has a little bit of effect there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can do some sweet stuff. You can blur out anything, create some awesome backgrounds with little to no hassle. And uh, yeah, you got you got a cool background. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, new videos coming every day as long as I can keep up with it. And uh, again, this is what compressed air sounds like in the microphone.